Hello, today we'll discuss simulation method, uh, how to test independent functions, which uh, has inputs through activity parameter nodes coming from outside. So they designed to be used in the orchestration with other functions, which provides outputs. Let's say that we have just one of them and we want to test it in the independent environment. So we could actually simulate and run the simulation directly of that function. So for example, in our case, we have vehicle, we have measure acceleration function, this independent function, which has uh, two inputs, uh, initial speed, final speed, uh, and let's say even time, uh, and then uh, acceleration is calculated and it's provided outside of the function, uh, same as inputs are coming from uh, other functions. But let's say that we want to run just this one. So we, uh, unfortunately, when you generate, when you run this function, uh, those inputs are not available. There is no, you see, the, there is no values passed. And those are just dummy, dummy events uh, generated and passed. So this is not uh, the way we can uh, actually test inputs into the function and get result. So for us to get that, uh, we would uh, require some context. Let's say, for example, in this case, our vehicle could be part of the context. And that would be association uh, with the uh, which would represent that vehicle is part of this context. That context could be some environment or some test, right? So, for example, testing zero to sixty acceleration, right? And uh, then that context would have the properties which we uh, would use to have uh, to capture the inputs and the results. So we have here acceleration, right? We have time, we have initial speed, and we have final speed. We could have those initial values and you see the even units are assigned using the ISO library. Feeds per second are so the speed inputs, uh, time input is in seconds and the acceleration is uh, uh, feet per second uh, square. Now uh, what would be done next, we would uh, create activity here in this uh, block, in this uh, test block and we would drag and drop, let's see we would drag and drop that original original function like this, uh, which now requires inputs from outside, right? And those inputs and outputs uh, would be generated uh, in this test context. So here we have those uh, inputs and outputs for this uh, activity. Uh, how that is done is pretty much very simple. You can just start from scratch, opaque action, right? Uh, and start like this. Uh, would be like a v1 for example uh, initial initial speed uh, and then uh, you can just type uh, v2 final speed uh, t equal time that's it and then we can even use this capability to generate parameters. So final, I don't need parameter, initial, they need parameter because those by name will be read from context, right? I just need time, v2 and v1. And the direction is wrong, so maybe I can refactor, convert to output pin, yes, convert to, to output pin. Yes, so let's connect them here. And then this one is also, so here we will capture result. Acceleration equal, let's say, A. Doesn't matter really what variable I will use. I can use this one to generate this, those variables. I need to pass acceleration, so I'm deleting. When I delete, I use Control D to delete permanently from the model. Uh, and here we have now um, uh, this uh, whole uh, setup to provide inputs 
from this environment as this one, you know, to provide inputs to the function, which was independent. So we created environment to simulate that function. And we can simulate multiple functions. We can drag them here, you know, connect just like this environment is independent, is used just to test in the independent context, uh, not in the whole system context. And um, yeah, I could color code that, for example, green one. And uh, save it. Now um, I can execute that. Um, run in context. I see those uh, inputs here. You know, you see it's like zero uh, times five, sixty, uh, from zero to sixty, right? And then if I will slow down, I might notice the result before this activity will quit. Right? So let's run. So I see outputs are generated. Sixty is going here. Zero is going here. The time is going here. We get the result, which is 12. And this result gets added here. And then we are capturing it here. So we can actually now use this uh, setup uh, to create uh, multiple uh, configurations. So we can use instance table. Let me remove existing one. So let's create an instance table. Let's uh, choose the testing environment for the table. You see the uh, columns get filled automatically. And then let's create, you know, multiple configurations. Uh, and then initial uh, time. Here we have uh, initial speed, uh, final speed, uh, and, uh, and then we have acceleration as a result. And then here we can change the time, for example, one, two, three, five, six. And then uh, run simulation, run with behavior, because behavior is the one which provides this logic. And we get results, as you can see here. Those results could be automatically re received, could be also some kind of inputs generated based on some other calculations and so on. So that was the demonstration of the uh, one way, maybe the best way to run an independent function with the object flows coming from environment, uh, from other functions, but test in the new environment uh, by creating this environment uh, in, as a block, taking that uh, uh, part of the system which has the function, making part of this test environment and creating environment to test this function or group of functions independently uh, with the required inputs. So thank you for your attention and uh, let me know if you have any questions.